Welcome to the Volume by Cylindrical Shells video tutorial. In these examples we'll be showing you Maple's powerful Volume of Revolution tutor that determines the volume of solids using the cylindrical shells method. Example 1. Determine the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y-axis the region bounded by y equals 8x times 5 minus x and y equals 0. Step 1. Load the package student calculus 1. This can be done by going to tools, load package, student calculus 1, and just go on the next line. Step 2. Write the function f in math mode. f of x equals 8 times x times 5 minus x. Step 3, go to context menu and right hand side and go to context menu again. Go to tutors, calculus single variable, and volume of revolution. The volume of revolution tutor pops up. Let's just drag it here to the right so we can see our steps. Step 4 also says to enter g of x equals 0 as a second function. Here we have f at x and below it is the second function g of x. So let's put 0 there. Step 5. Select vertical as the line of revolution. The line of revolution is over here and let's select vertical. And then let's select shells for the display because we're calculating the volume of the solid using the cylindrical shells method. Also, notice that the two curves enclose a region on the domain between x equals 0 to x equals 5 since the two curves intersect at x equals 0 and x equals 5. So let's modify the interval to be from x equals 0 and press tab to x equals 5. Click display and now we can see the shells in action. Maple outputs the exact value of the integral, which is 2500 over 3 times pi units cubed, and it also approximates the exact answer, so it's roughly 2618 units cubed. What's interesting is that Maple also computes a Riemann sum, and what you can do is see how using a higher number of partitions or cylinders gets you a more accurate answer. Right now it's using six partitions. So let's increase the number of partitions to 10 and click display. You can see that the plot has been revised with 10 partitions and the Riemann sum has become more accurate as well. And as a side note, if you're interested in animating the cylindrical shells method, just click animate over here and you can also select a higher speed by clicking on the plus sign. And this illustrates the volume of a thin shell being added up throughout the entire region that we're considering. Let's click, click display again and go back to our cylindrical shells. Let's copy this output by pressing Control C. Let's close the tutor, go on the line below and paste by pressing control V. Click yes. And now we have a complete solution that shows you how to determine the volume of this solid. Example 2 is quite similar to the first example but this time we're dealing with a more complicated second function. We are asked to determine the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y-axis the region bounded by y equals x and y equals x squared. So from the first example, we already know the drill. Step one, load the package, student calculus one, which can be done by going to tools, load package, student calculus one. And by going on the line below, write the function f in math mode. So the first function is f of x equals x. Step three, go to the context menu and select right hand side. And step four, go to the context menu again, go to tutors, calculus single variable, and volume of revolution. The volume of revolution tutor pops up, 
Let's just drag it here to the right. And enter g of x equals x squared as a second function, since that's what we were asked to do. So we have g of x equals x squared. And the line of revolution should be vertical. So let's select vertical there. And we're using the cylindrical shells method. So let's click shells under display. And also note that the two curves enclose a region on the domain between x equals 0 and x equals 1, since the two curves intersect at x equals 0 and x equals 1. So let's modify the interval a equals 0 and b equals 1 and click display. Maple outputs the exact answer which is a sixth pi and it also outputs a Riemann sum using six partitions which you can change. One really interesting thing to note here is that in another question if you are asked to determine the volume of this solid using the cylindrical shells method about the line x equals 2 then you would say to yourself, well, x equals 2 is a vertical line, and the distance of rotation line from the coordinate axes is 2, because we're now considering x equals 2. Click on display. Now Maple plots the region bounded by the two curves rotated about the line x equals 2, and thus obtains a solid, and it computes the volume of that as well. So let's go back to our original case, which was about x equals 0 and click on display. Let's copy this output by pressing Control C and close the tutor. Let's go on the line below and paste the output and just click yes. And now we have another complete solution that shows us how to determine the volume of a solid. Thank you for viewing the volume by cylindrical shells maple adoption video tutorial.